Mikhail, how are you? How are you? What do you consider taking power? Uh, populism technically is a way of assuming power. It doesn't matter if it took a coup or a revolution. Populism is appealing to the common good for the assumption of power. Uh, that's loaded. Populism, like right now, you could say on the west coast of Canada. Okay, on the west coast of Canada. The popular opinion is that lockdowns were good, uh, that people should not be allowed uh, certain places with, unless they have papers, right? Well, those popular opinions can go fuck themselves because they are enemy to freedom and free movement and censorship, right? That's what they're promoting. But they're not no longer censoring thought, censoring, censoring action. They're, they're, they're censoring movement. They're censoring a person's choice to be an individual, right? They're censoring individuality. They're censoring discourse. They're censoring any, any differing opinion. Well, in sci-fi, you call those people the Borg, right? Because they believe in only in collective actions controlled from the hive mind, right? So a lot of people say we're surrounded by zombies and stuff like this. And there are zombie um, analogies, definitely, right? Uh, and there have been zombie uh, science fiction ideas where, uh, you know, the zombies are actually controlled by central thought right there's it's not random that you're just looking for brains there's actually a central queen if you want to think about it a queen zombie that controls the whole zombie population right the borg is the same thing it's the collective mind but controlled from a central location what we have right now the closest analogy we have to what's going on in certain parts of the world is the borg right we're facing the borg right and the only way to take to separate separate the drones of the Borg right is to capture them sever their link with uh, the Queen okay and reprogram them individually right they did that with Locutus right Jean-Luc Picard they've done that they did that with seven of nine they have done that with multiple Borg characters in the Star Trek franchise right that's where we are right now. We need to sever the ties of these drone Borgs with the central power, right? And there's multiple ways to do this. One of them is by just sharing information, making sure you stay fluid and you you speak, speak out against censorship. Another way is to be an independent journalist and share information. Another way is to create content in a certain way that you're showing what it means to be an individual and become anti-fragile okay another way is through psychedelics because psychedelics have a way to completely sever that link and upload the programming almost instantly if the drone the host is willing to accept that programming and does not get annihilated once that link with the queen is severed right with the centralized power is severed that's why one of the reasons that i'm a huge advocate i'm not promoting it but i'm not denying it as bill hicks would say that's why i'm a huge advocate of entheogens because entheogens can do what or undo decades of programming by centralized power and do what decades of meditation and living the right life can do almost instantly there is repercussions it takes a you need to apprentice under certain allies or uh you need to you need, you need to adjust to that programming right uh certain uh martial arts do this as well by the way okay so there's different ways you can do this and that's where we are right now we have to defeat the borg if you want a sci-fi analogy right 